get to the news. Former President Trump held a rally on Saturday in Waco, Texas, near the site of the Branch Davidian Cults compound, or as it's now known, campaign headquarters. <laughs> Former President Trump held a campaign rally on Saturday in Waco, Texas, making him the first cult leader ever to escape that city alive. <laughs> During his rally on Saturday, former President Trump mocked Florida Governor Ron DeSantis and said he has, quote, no personality, which, based on the past, makes him frontrunner for VP. <laughs> During his rally on Saturday in Texas, former President Trump dismissed claims that he had an affair with adult film star Stormy Daniels and mocked her appearance. You're mocking her appearance. <laughs> Remember that picture of the two of you together? <laughs> this looks like a picture you'd see on Facebook with the caption, last time seeing grandpa. <laughs> Russian president. Russian President Vladimir Putin announced over the weekend that Russia has reached a deal with Belarus to station nuclear weapons in its territory. The deal announcement came as a surprise both to NATO and Belarus. <laughs> Starting when? <laughs> Officials in Philadelphia announced yesterday that tap water is safe to drink after a toxic spill in the Delaware Whit River. That's right, Philly residents can drink water, but they still can't pronounce it. <laughs> W wooder. Okay. No, go with wooder. <laughs> Officials in California recently responded after a truck overturned and spilled a load of 10,000 empty wine bottles onto the road. They hadn't seen that many empty wine bottles since week two of COVID lockdown. <laughs> An 80-year-old woman in Canada recently received the Guinness World Record for most blood donated, said the woman, I'm 26. <laughs> A high school principal in Florida recently resigned after she received criticism for showing students Michelangelo's sculpture, David, which one parent allegedly called pornographic. And I can't believe I never noticed this before, but they might have a point. <laughs> you never notice that part, because you're looking at the tiny way. <laughs> I took art history class. That's how I know what to call it. <laughs> the TSA announced last week that it's now classifying peanut butter as a liquid. So bad news. Now you're going to have to chug that at security, too. <laughs> and finally, New York City today launched its curbside composting program, or as rats are calling it, Restaurant Week. <laughs> President Biden signed an executive order yesterday limiting the government's ability to use commercial spyware that could be used to hack citizens' phones, or as he put it, we're going back to landlines. <laughs> the Manhattan grand jury investigating allegations that former President Trump made illegal hush money payments met yesterday without voting on a criminal indictment. Okay, in the words of Stormy Daniels, what is taking so long? <laughs> Look, until we see that perp walk, I'm just going to have to keep showing this one. I do hope. When he does have his perp walk, I do hope they play that brass band. <laughs> Former President Trump was interviewed last night by Fox News host Sean Hannity. Thanks for having me back, said Hannity and Trump at the same time. <laughs> In a new interview with Fox News host Sean Hannity, former President Trump denied having an affair with adult film star Stormy Daniels, which would actually be a better explanation for the hush money. Don't tell anybody we didn't do it. <laughs> In the same interview, former President Trump claimed that if Florida Governor Ron DeSantis did not win the Republican gubernatorial primary in 2018, he would be working at a pizza parlor. Why do I feel like the only jobs Trump knows are ones from porn? <laughs> If I didn't endorse Ron right now, he would be working as either a plumber or a stepson. <laughs> Trump also said last night that he has tapes of the FBI raid on his Mar-a-Lago residence, but he did have to record over some stuff. <laughs> oh, some... <laughs> some a sympathy for Eric tonight, noted. <laughs> noted. President Biden called on Congress yesterday to pass an assault weapons ban, which is sort of like 
calling on McDonald's to make you a Whopper. They could do it, they just won't. <laughs> Former Vice President Mike Pence is set tomorrow to travel to Iowa, which I think is actually the name of a color at Sherwin-Williams. <laughs> North Dakota governor, North Dakota... <laughs> North Dakota Governor Doug Burgum is reportedly considering running for president, and if you're wondering what his chances are, that ain't him and nobody noticed. <laughs> Vote for that guy, though. That guy does not like, seem like he likes the path this country's on. <laughs> Authorities in California recently arrested a man who allegedly burglarized several optometry offices. Witnesses describe the subject as a person between four and eight feet tall and very blurry. <laughs> they, also, they also thought that last guy was Doug Burgum. <laughs> and finally, today was National Hot Tub Day, except in New York, where the jets don't work. And that, you guys... <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> President Biden spoke today at the White House Summit for Democracy. The speech went so well, we're even thinking about trying it. <laughs> House Speaker Kevin McCarthy sent President Biden a letter yesterday morning and asked him to pick a date to continue negotiations over raising the debt ceiling because nothing conveys the desire to get something done quickly like sending a letter. <laughs> That's right, House Speaker Kevin McCarthy sent President Biden a letter yesterday and outlined Republican demands for raising the debt ceiling, and for the greater good, Hillary's agreed to it. <laughs> Not real, don't worry. President Biden told reporters yesterday that he has already used the full extent of his executive authority to ban assault weapons and added that Congress, quote, has to act. Well, I did win the Oscar for Lincoln, said George Santos. <laughs> A bipartisan group of congressmen announced this week that they will reintroduce the Protection from Abusive Passengers Act, which would ban airline passengers who've been fined or convicted of physical violence on flights and prison time for anyone who takes off their shoes and socks. <laughs> According to a new report, former First Lady Melania Trump likes living at Mar-a-Lago because she's surrounded by people who do not say bad things about former President Trump. Okay, but word of advice, don't go in the kitchen. Pepsi yesterday unveiled its new logo design for North America, and it's fine, I guess, if that's all you have. <laughs> Shoemaker, I was like, I'm not sure about that one. Shoemaker's like, that's an excellent joke about Pepsi. <laughs> well, that's what, I guess that's about it, though. Like, Pepsi's got a lower ceiling. <laughs> Honda has issued a recall for more than 300,000 vehicles due to an issue with the side view mirrors. Apparently, what happened was, all the objects in the mirror are exactly as close as they appear. <laughs> a driver in Minnesota reportedly gave a sheriff's deputy a get-out-of-jail-free card from the board game Monopoly, <laughs> along with his license during a recent traffic stop, but it didn't work, and he ended up getting his car towed. A Great Dane in Virginia recently gave birth to 21 puppies over 27 hours of labor, though when it was all said and done, it turned out she was a chihuahua. <laughs> That's right, a Great Dane in Virginia recently gave birth to 21 puppies. Well, she certainly knows a rollover. Collins. <laughs> According to a new study, Jacksonville, Florida has the worst drivers in the country. Said drivers, let me see that. <laughs> and finally, scientists believe they've found a new source of water on the moon, and Gwyneth Paltrow already has it up on her site. <laughs> the Manhattan grand jury investigating former President Trump's alleged involvement in a hush money payment is reportedly not expected to hear any more evidence for the next month. Oh. You mean they need some time off after hearing nothing but Trump sex stories? <laughs> Please, we just, we just need a month.
According to a new report, several top Republican donors are worried that Florida Governor Ron DeSantis does not have the charisma for a national campaign. This guy, this guy doesn't have the charisma for a local ad campaign. He looks like a used car dealer who insists on being in the commercials. Come on down to Ron's Motors. Our prices aren't woke, and that's no joke. <laughs> Republican Congressman Mike Gallagher warned this week that China wants to use artificial intelligence to perfect its, quote, Orwellian surveillance state. Unfortunately, Republicans don't know what that means because they banned that book. <laughs> Dr. Anthony Fauci has reportedly sold his memoir for just under $5 million. He will not narrate the audiobook, though, because he knows no one ever listens to him. <laughs> Two fishermen who allegedly cheated in a competitive fishing competition in Ohio pleaded guilty this week to criminal charges and face up to one year in prison. And do you know what they do to people who cheated fishing in prison? Because I don't. <laughs> I'm guessing it's literally never happened before. A travel company has announced it will offer the world's longest bus journey this summer, which will take riders on a 56-day trip across Europe, or for a cheaper 56-day trip, book a Greyhound to Jacksonville. <laughs> I feel like our, one of our writers, Brian, did that once and thought maybe the whole audience had as well. It was announced yesterday that the sequel to author John Grisham's book, The Firm, will be released later this year. This news first reported in an all-caps text from your dad. <laughs> Today was baseball's opening day with all 30 MLB teams playing games, and it's about 40 degrees here in New York, so if you're the Mets, this is what it feels like to play in October. And finally, the department store chain Macy's announced yesterday that its CEO will retire next year, while TJ Maxx announced their CEO is just a loose pile of pants. And that, <laughs> that was a monologue, everyone. We're all the